Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. Um, a little bit of a problem in this episode. Uh, basically, I tried recording the piece that we're about to try and replace and something went wrong. I don't know exactly what it was, the video basically failed. So, say hello to How To's a Lot, he's my quality build and um, he's going to be taking us through this episode. Hopefully, uh, we get everything that we need to get to. We are starting from the Eastern Tableland. Decided we are, in fact, going to go ahead and clear out Black Life Catacombs, and then we're going to end at the tunnel. I can't remember if we hit anything else in the video that failed. Um, just all I can say is have a check around. I'm pretty sure we cleared all of this around to the Erd Tree in the video before anyway. Um, and then it goes pretty conclusive over this way. So that is the plan for the video. So I'm traveling from this uh, bonfire specifically because I find it easier to, uh, to navigate from here. Obviously, you can go from the more northern grace point that we had locked in the previous one and hopefully this goes fairly well uh, this character is um kicking ass as it were uh, i have to say anybody that says that magic is the easy mode hell no this uh bloodhound's blade is far easier and you're gonna see uh, just how much easier when we get to some of these enemies but once we get on here yeah one turn right there's gonna be a there's a rune bear on the path, so just be careful of that. We ain't bothered about uh, tangling with him, realistically speaking. Maybe something else. There, yeah, there's the rune bear right there. I can see it right there. Big, massive bear. I really hate the moveset. It does my head. I might actually have to do a how to defeat these bears video. I think that's coming in the future. I'm going to learn them. I'm going to kill them. Um. So yes, I think we're getting there, getting there, yes. Don't worry about that right now, that's going to be a fair amount later. I was just looking at the game, where is that? <laughs> oh yeah, that's when we get up the uh, get up the top end with the horrible Eye of Sauron that wants to inflict madness on us. Don't worry yourself about that just yet. So we're going to get off the horse just here. Uh, we're going to see the big shiny knight. Uh, this respawns, it's not like a special enemy or boss enemy or anything, so it's up to you if you want to kill it, or if you just want to come on around, sneak behind him. Like so. All good. Open the door and you're into the Bellum Highway. We're going to we're gonna sit down and take a rest. And we might as well get a kill on the guy, right? Let's let's go with it. Although realistically, this character probably doesn't need the levels. <coughs> I'm sure the power of the blood fang. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Don't you want to come for a fight? Ooh, stagger me. Excuse me, sir. Come back. No. <laughs> Bloodhound Fang says no. Uh, if you're coming through here with the uh, short sword, don't do that. Bring bring Rogier's rapier. I've decided we are going to get the Moon Veil, so you might as well uh, invest in some decks. Uh, be able to field a good weapon. So you're going to see me using the short sword for a few episodes, and then we're going to be specking up to use a uh, the Uchi Katana first, and then the uh, the Moon Veil will replace it once we have the stats to wield it. Just so you know, uh, I've been messing around on, on live streams and stuff with different weapons and that is the one that came out tops. So once you get to this part, we're going to head straight on forward to deal with this guy. Which will take down this guy, so a bit of a pain in the ass. But around the corner quickly because there's a couple of archers around there that are going to be firing at you. Um, and then we can clear this room two bosses in this dungeon and it's actually quite important to make sure I do this one because it's relative to a quest um, which is why this was like even more bad for this one to go wrong and I really hope it doesn't go wrong again because otherwise it's going to be like I have to get another character here excuse me sir I need to go down too it's just <laughs> this weapon's just easy mode this guy's like 10 levels behind the uh, the int build at this point and just absolutely screws everything in the face quite literally yes <laughs> it's only just telling me about those so in this room you want to block here and then when this uh, blade comes down you want to stand on the blade and jump across for necromancer 
Now then at this point I like to come back down here. That side's being mischievous. Can you please not sir? Please not. Um uh, can you not? Can you please not? Oh my. Extra stamina because that's going to be useful against some big crabs that we're about to fight. And the reason I'm coming down this way, uh, and you'll see we can get hit down here, but not illustrative. Uh, we are actually going to come back through that gate um, as a part of the dungeon, but uh, two crabs will uh, spawn down here uh, when you do that, and I much prefer um, just taking them on at this point. Otherwise, it's pain in the ass having them both at the same time. Whereas we can come down here and grab, I think it's a Runok. Yeah. Abby, behave, please. Let me take you down before your friend comes. Surprisingly blockable, these. Just don't get grabbed and we're all good. Obviously, it's going to be a bit of a different story with with uh, with the caster. I'm sorry. There's not much I can do about that. Hello. I would like to get stagger on you. Even like crowns like this, which would normally be a real issue, just absolutely nothing to this guy. <clears throat> okay, uh, so with that taken care of, we can go back up the blades. So this is real annoying for reruns. There's not much we can do about it. Um, even like coming through here is kind of a pain in the ass. And you'll see why that's a pain in the ass, because this is where we want secret well, an extra boss is a secret boss, which we have been tasked by Fear to find for Roger Year. Roger Year. Mage Boy, take this guy out. This guy here. Like that, like that. <laughs> Your bones, they cannot stand to the to the crazy big sword. Secret boss here. I'm not going to deal with that right now. We'll do that. Uh, I suppose we could do it right now, actually. Um, so this guy, there is actually a trick to this guy. Um, if you... I'm just looking at my flask. This guy barely has any. Uh, if you are the mage and you have carrion greatsword, which you get from the turtle guy, uh, at the church just to the south. I don't think this guy's been there yet. Um, if you spam that, you can basically stun lock him, which is really good because it basically like resets his animation. So once you start that, you can get an entire combo of it out and it'll just strip his health from him. I don't know how, the, how this is going to go close combat with my local level character because he is quite fast. So we will see how this goes. I could have resbladed, but he's kind of a bleed build himself, so just be careful of his of his red moves. But it seems to be perfectly susceptible to the spin attack, so that's kind of handy. Oh, he's grabbed me! No! If he, if he spams that, I'm dead now. So it's only the grab that I've even got to be worried about. Apparently. Oh, he didn't repost me. I'm lucky there. Yeah, fight's over. Anyone that says that the caster is the easy mode is playing a different game to me. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like, just got wrecked. Uh, so now we will go down and do the switch. I was about to teleport out, and I was like, wait a minute, that'll be bad. Uh, so be careful in here, gonna have loads of skeletons spawning. I am not particularly fussed about fighting them, so we're just gonna grab the, the ghost glove wall. It's the only. Hey! Oh, yeah, I've got this on the switch. Ghost glove wall, fairly important to make sure you grab that, and then uh, we're just gonna head on out because I don't need to care about them. 
crappy skeletons. These will follow you quite far as well, so just be aware. Do you need to keep on keep the pace up? And I can head back to the boss room. So, quick run back out. We'll reset the flasks. I don't know what the boss was now. Even though I've been there twice, I nearly let myself get dumped on there, didn't I? Just a trip to the Grace. Oh, hello. This might even level this guy up. He's a little bit lower than my, uh, my caster. Nah. Next boss will do. Yay! This guy hasn't even done Stormville yet. That's how, how far behind he is. Um, he is quite high level, though, because basically the rune items that have been saving as a caster are used on this guy, and this is the kind of difference that you can get quite early. Which is nice, actually. Now to remember the boss. Oh, I bet this is the thing with the green crap on its head. Yeah, it is. Right, get the wolves out. So the danger, the main danger with this guy is uh, he has like a green thing he can fire at you that will um, basically freeze you in place. There it is. Look, let's get behind the post. Uh, it'll basically freeze you in place and um, in general be a real issue. So just be careful of that. This is probably going to kill my little character, so I don't think I have anything particularly good to, uh, to come up with. Oh, he's got like no health though. <laughs> Wish I would have hit you one more time and you're dead. Oh, come on. Teleportation's a bit of an issue as well, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to die. Damn it. Rematch. Okay, round two. This time I've actually got my. Uh, I think I've done it on someone here, I shouldn't have done the jellyfish. Uh, it was definitely better in here for this. Whoa, 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 excuse me, sirs, excuse me. It's completely unreasonable. Oh my gosh. I just need to pick this up before we die. That's it. Again. Right, I just need to get over there and hit that guy twice. That's all I've got to do with this weapon right now. All I've got to do is get over here, hit this guy twice. Maybe three times. God damn it. Should've stolen the wolves. <laughs> if I die here, it's because I should've stolen the wolves. Right, I need to get this guy. Come on. Someone's gonna get hit by the stun of running away. Damn it. He says. <laughs> okay, round three. This time I'm definitely gonna summon the wolves first. The reason I press jellyfish is because I'm used to pressing that for the top. And this guy can't actually summon him, so it's an issue. Right, come here. Right, stop it. Where are you? There you are. Right, I need you not with your skeletons. The biggest issue here is your skeletons. You're getting in the way. If I can get here and do something like this, then we win, right? So this just had to hit twice. Pain in the ass. There we go, Twin Sage Sorcerer, I got the souls back. Death route, which is important, and then we can leave. Okay, so once we wake up from uh, the exit dungeon place, we can come back to the eastern Leonia Lakeshore. Uh, basically, we're just going to follow it north, and that's going to meet up where the last video is. Um, it's entirely possible that we could have uh, missed something, so keep your eye out around, kind of just on the way up here as you're coming up, because I can't remember exactly what it is that I did. And I don't exactly split my notes into episodes, so we're just going to come up this way on the side of the cliff here. Oh, sorry, I've got real hiccups again. Oh, the side of the cliff. Lots of enemies around. Feel free to fight a few. That's probably not a bad idea for you. Let's put the runage in. Oh wait, there's an item on the way up here. 
might have missed. Might have gone past it. I'm fairly certain that along here, now that I'm thinking about it, that there's a chair with some loot in it. A chair. I feel like a chair. A group of chairs. And there's like an up there's an upgrade stone on a group of chairs. That we might have missed somewhere up here. Just keep your eyes out. I can't remember exactly now. Um it should be like right on top of this tunnel, where is it? There we go. And down here is where I think, when I quickly glanced at the next video, where the next video should begin. If I've got it wrong, I apologise. You may have to do some fast travelling. Um, but we'll be clearing out the... I'm not telling what it's called. It's, it's Ray, Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Here we go. So, apologies, this hasn't been perfect. Um, but hopefully that at least gets you to where we need to be. You guys can do some exploration form up some extra runes to treat yourself to a level or something and uh, I'll catch you all in the next video.